Well, here we go. Alrighty guys, so so we're doing it. Uh, we're working on the ATC now, and we're gonna get this aligned to the spindle so I can do tool changes. Uh, I think, as I noted before in a previous video, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that my spindle doesn't exactly align. Let me get this hose out of the way. Maybe you can see it better. The spindle doesn't exactly align with the ATC. You can see that the little forks are slightly below this groove where it normally grabs onto. So that's one issue. And then the other issue is, if you look up here, you can see that, I don't know how good you, you can see it, but the the tongue, or it really this pocket, and maybe the tongue as well, doesn't exactly align up to the um, the tool. So that that tells me something is going on. Um, oh, also, how I got to this stage was I, of course, turned the machine on, and I went to the cold start position. And when I did that, I'm, I'm really starting to look into everything. If you look here, you can see it's not exactly lined up. Maybe it's a little bit north of the cold start position, the, the Z. So that that is a little bit off, but I don't think it's that, that distance it's off is not that distance up here. So I gotta figure that one out. Um, so I did the cold start position, and then if you, on the screen here, um, type M19 when you're in manual mode. It, the tool changes went away because I, I went into here. But basically, when you're on this screen and you type in M19, that orients the spindle to clock it so these, um, I forget whether I prefer the cleats or whatever, but that, that spacing, so this. So these guys line up to um, the tabs that are in the ATC. And then I manually move this forward this way. And to do that, uh, where'd my screwdriver go? So you grab your flathead screwdriver, hopefully a big one. And if you look up in here, see if I can get a good shot of it. You can see there's a little tiny roller in here and all you gotta do is stick a screwdriver in there and then push it. You can see it's starting to move over. I'm, I, I don't have enough hands, but you basically push that over this way. So use a screwdriver, push it that way, and then while you're doing that, you push this that way. And you'll, you'll, once, once it starts going, you'll, you can just easily push it through to the spindle. And that's where I had it just in contact with this as far as I could push it. I wasn't forcing anything, but you get to this align right here and then you can, you can judge you know, how high or how not aligned you are. So I think the first thing I need to do is I need to adjust my Z position. Now one thing I did notice is in the manual here, this is the... Uh, the Fadal maintenance manual. These are available on uh, FadalCNC.com, but uh, and, and they're free. But I was going through the uh, adjustments. This is uh, maintenance manual, and this is page 120. But basically, it tells you how to how to adjust things or how to how to go about you know troubleshooting and stuff. And so, to to change the Z. I am going to have to go up there and move the resolver um, because th this is a, a DC machine. I gotta move the resolver, and so so I can move this Z axis. So when you're in the cold start position, you can adjust that, and that'll move the spindle up and down. And my the measurement that I need to go to over here on page 121, where is it? Up here, 50 thou. So I need to have my spacing. When this guy is out, that spacing between the spindle 
and the top of the ATC rack, that needs to be 50 thou. So I'm gonna adjust it um, so that I get that height, and then we'll worry about the orientation of the uh, ATC. So let me get set up. I'll show you guys uh, the adjustments up here, just so you know, and then we'll come back and hopefully uh, fix this down here. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so it was actually really easy, so I just went ahead and did it. Um, before I show you, actually I'll show you right now. You can see that it's, uh, it's pretty dang aligned. I'm lined up right with the, uh, the little keys in there, or that little, the little forks. I haven't actually changed the tool out yet, but I know that I'm a lot closer here. And things lined up, and I actually went and pushed this a little bit further in, and it just kind of slid right over the tool. So I'm, I'm really hopeful that up here, my, uh, I don't know if you can really see it, but my fork, I'm really hopeful that that's already just a line, and it was really just a, a Z position issue. But, so that's that's this end, and that's, I, I measured that. I first used uh, my handy dandy calipers and then I used uh, some feeler gauges but that's right at uh, 50 thou which is what the uh, the book says up here but uh, on, the, on the top side let's go up there and I'll show you exactly what I did go up here crawling all the way up here um, what I used was I got a quarter inch socket with a ratchet attached and then I did have some screwdrivers, but I also got one of those screwdriver bits with a mag magnet uh, holder. So I can just put it right down inside up here. But basically, I'm gonna have to climb, hold on. Put the camera down. Okay, so basically, Oh look, it's, we're so high up here, look at this. The ceiling's right here. Um, but in here, basically, you just take the two bolts out that are, where is it? These guys. So you take these bolts out with a quarter inch, use a screwdriver and lightly pry up and wiggle this guy up off the top of the motor. And then on here, that this is the resolver. And you can see down inside, there is a cam screw right there. There's one over here. Sorry, the gimbal's like freaking out right now. And there's one over here. You loosen those three up. Be careful because you got up the board right here for the resolver. You loosen them up so that way you can move this around uh, just enough to where if you move it, it'll stick and it won't you know, try and, and spring back. But you, you basically loosen... Whoa! Gimbal, pay attention. Basically, you, you loosen that, those up and you move this around. And then you go down to the machine and you check your, uh, your height. So basically what I had to do, I, I, I kind of lucked out because I, I went the right direction the first time. But basically, to, to lower the spindle down to the uh, ATC, I had to spin counterclockwise. And that brought the spindle down to, to closer down to the uh, ATC. Because I, I was originally uh, 150 thou away from the ATC, and so I had to bring it down to about 50 thou. So that's, that's it. Once, once you get down to that 50 thou gap, then you come back up here and you tighten these guys back down and then uh, close it back up. So let's uh, let's go back downstairs. Alrighty guys, so I'm, I'm back down to the machine. I haven't tied that up yet. I haven't put the cap back on and the screws because um, I, I mainly want to try this now since it's all lined up. I want to try and do uh, a tool change and see if it, uh, if it works. Oh, and you can also see back here, I noticed the, uh, the position. We're now south of that line over here. So once we get everything lined up, I'm going to readjust this to line right back up to where the machine mark is for the cold start position. 
So, if we go over here. Is a jog? Yep, just went away. All right, moment of truth. Hopefully the uh, compressor doesn't kick on right when I'm trying to do stuff and talk. Um, TC, comma, one. We're going to uh, move this guy in. Let's see, please don't screw up. Actually, enter. Oh, it, it did it. Look at that. Oh, I can still see that it's a little bit, you can see the forks aren't totally grabbing it. So we still might, I'm trying to look around the back side over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if we're aligned up there. But it definitely, it's a lot closer. I might, I might end up having to replace all my forks, which would be a tedious task, but uh, let's see here. If I move this, oh, okay. Looks like it's still not totally aligned. So I might, I might have to adjust this, but so far so good. Um, here, let's, let's try this. Let's grab another tool up here. And to do clockwise. All right. We got two two empty tools. That way, if things screw up, I don't I screw up the least amount of things. I don't have to break any end mills. All right. All right. So we're gonna play a little uh, hopscotch. I don't know what, what that means. We're gonna just move things around. I can see this is actually a little bit loose. This one loose. This one's not loose. Maybe my maybe the forks on this one are not totally straight and aligned, or maybe I don't know. All right, so let's do that. Uh, manual. It's gonna go and it's gonna grab it. Give me that tool. Let's go back, let's do it again. We'll see if uh, it screws up. So TC comma one, get you into that tool change position. Ooh, that sounds nice. Before you'd hear this like clunk when it released the tool, but uh, this guy seems like it that guy's right in there. Maybe it's this the forks over on this one. Let's uh I'm gonna keep that one in there. Or actually, see if I can wiggle this guy out. Can I get this guy out? No, I can't. Let's go over here. Another one! Alright, let's uh rotate clockwise. Stick this guy in here. I wonder too if Maybe I will have to do the adjustment on the ATC because I wonder if maybe there's some issue, you know, if, it, if it's not totally flat. Gotta look into that maybe. Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna do switcheroo with those two guys. So let's uh, do manual mode again, and here I'll get you guys. Push manual mode. It should go and grab that tool. Again. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do it again. T, C, comma, one. But this time we're gonna go backwards. Give me that tool. Counterclockwise. Give me that tool. We're gonna try, or I'm gonna try and jump up there really quick when I push this so I can see that how close it gets down to the, how close the spindle gets down to the ATC to see if it's, if it kept that position. So let's get ready to run. Ready, let's go. Oh wait, I need to push it again. Twice, 
Forgot about that. Ready, go! Seemed pretty close. I, uh, my, my calibrated eyeballs say that was really close. Uh, so that... That is really promising. That makes me feel happy. I still gotta figure out this guy. Um, I might have issues with the fork. I don't know if I should put, replace just that one, or if I should just go ahead and replace the whole... whole thing. Um, Alright, let's do it one more time. This... this may be... this may be the end of this video. I don't know. Uh, Alright, last time. We're doing this. Alright. Manual mode and manual. And there goes the compressor. Alrighty, so the uh, the compressor decided to stop uh, compressing. So I can I can talk now and you guys can hear me. Um, I think I'm I'm pretty much done. Well, at least with this part. I did notice. I did try out different positions, and I noticed that when I went 180 degrees on the ATC and brought the tool changer back out, that it was sliding across the top surface of the, uh, I guess the, I'll say the rack. So I suspect that it, it's leaning this way, and when it's turning around, on the side that I set it up on, which is this side right here, I got a nice 50 thou gap. But when I go all the way around and have this position all the way back here, it's sliding up against the uh, bottom of the spindle. So I gotta do a little bit more research. I think I might just need to take these bolts out and then maybe possibly put a shim or see if it's something in the way, um, which is causing that to... Uh, to sit wonky, I'll say. But uh, I'm gonna stop it here for this video and we'll work on that next time. But I, I'm really happy that <laughs> this works. I gotta, I gotta still button up the top side, get that all cleaned up. And then, I mean, right now, I keep changing tools in and out with, um, it also might be the issue with that fork, it might also be this guy. This is like an old cheap Chinese thing that came with the machine. But uh, yeah, that's how you uh, adjust your Z height for the ATC. And next time if I uh, find a solution, I'll show you guys what I did for the ATC uh, alignment this way. But uh, thanks guys for following along. It's kind of a, a shorter but quicker video. Maybe a little bit more information. Uh, could maybe help, be helpful for you guys. But uh, thanks, thanks for following along. If you haven't already, subscribe, like this video, share it. Um, and I will see you guys next time.